So, Six Flags Fiesta Texas, one of Six Flags' most profitable parks, has a prime spot for being a new coaster, which is the replacement for Pandemonium. And now I am wondering, will this be a Giga? Let's find out. What's up guys, Cam here, and today I'll be telling you if Six Flags Fiesta Texas should be getting a Giga. Now before we get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And let's get straight into this. So, we could see a Giga being coming to Fiesta Texas. And one reason why is because of the new coaster combination of the company. It's Cedar Fair and Six Flags will be combining in the company. So we will most likely be getting a new ride and that means more expensive things like Orion, Fury 325 and right around here is the prime spot for it. Why? Because the quarry wall makes cool coasters and a uh -oh, Giga here would be pretty cool because I don't think they have land restrictions. They have height restrictions and land restrictions. So right around here, you can fit some stuff for the Giga. And there is the possibility of the Giga here. So one reason why this Giga would be a good thing is because Fiesta Texas should get another coaster. Another good coaster that could work well for the park. That is a Giga. They don't really have a tall punchy coaster like they have iron rattler but they don't have like anything beyond that a giga would work really well in this situation and the, the land around it is really good it's around a couple acres you know they can build on top of the quarry wall these quarry walls could do really well in making the coaster look very well made and really well done and I think it would look really cool as a Giga Coaster. And another reason why is that there are many different manufacturers that they can get from. Now I know they already have like four B&Ms, like Superman, the Goliath. I keep forgetting that Goliath exists. It's a weird ride. And Dr. Diabolical that they just bought from. But there, there are two upsides that come from that that we know that. A Giga would work really well here. We know that rides do well here and they're willing to work with B&M and there are many more manufacturers that they can work with like like Intamin, Chance, Pacoma. These are all possibilities and remember this can go around the park. It doesn't have to just be in one specific area. It can go around the back like around the parking lot there is a bunch of spots that they could easily fit the Giga and I think that would fit really well into the park and that is just what I think on that part of the Giga. Now one downside is that Gigas cost a lot of money and with already being thought that Magic Mountain could be getting a Giga, there is a possibility that Six Flags Fiesta Texas might not be getting a Giga. But there is one reason why I think that the Giga will get past that and that's because of package deals and they could get a giga for magic mountain they could get a giga for yeah, texas and then a giga for another park somewhere probably like maybe discovery kingdom maybe that's a big thing but it would have to be a different park and they could fit it in in so many different spaces a package deal would work really well and it would cost less money so basically it would cost like it would basically cost the. Uh, you would be buying two gigas for the price of three, or one giga for the price of three, and package deals work really well because you can basically carve and carve and copy them. But that's what I think on that a downside of the giga is the land restrictions. They do not have a lot of land to work with around here, but they do have enough land that I think they can fit a giga. It would be a little bit cramped. But the Giga would work. It can work. 
they might even go into the parking lot a little bit, which I'm just going to say, the Fiesta Texas parking lot is absolutely massive. I'm surprised they haven't replaced it anymore with it. If I'm thinking, the newest addition will probably be a, not a lot of side white one day, but they have land that they could use, definitely. But another one that could be bad for the park is the noise, and I don't know about this one. I'm looking right around here, there isn't much there, and there are these homes really, but if Dr. Diabolical doesn't make enough noise, then I don't think a giggle will really make enough noise to have the park to be concerned about it. And my final thing about this giga is that it's a tall coaster, and Six Flags Fiesta Texas needs a tall coaster. It needs a good tall coaster. Like, their tallest coaster here is, like, I think it's Iron Rattler. It's either Iron Rattler or Superman. And, I don't know about you, but I think that Superman has a lot of space around it. They could use that as space, but they do need a good a tall coaster in the park that goes, that goes, like, far above the quarry wall of the life. A little bit like Superman looking at Iron Rattler, it doesn't go really high above the, uh, above the quarry wall. There's a lot of things that they can do, but I want to know your opinion. Should Fiesta Texas get a Giga? And make sure to comment down below what you think. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all of those notifications. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.